Good morning. I have a pretty busy day ahead of me and I figured I would take you along with me. I kind of want to do today like vlog style. I don't know how exciting my life really is. I don't think it's very exciting, especially on a day I'm not at work, but you know what? We're just going to try it out. We're going to see if you guys like the vlogs. I don't know. Not every single day is like this, but let's just, just come along with me. Daphne says good morning. First thing on the agenda this morning, go to the gym. Look at her. Hi, baby. We just cuddled in bed for like an hour and a half before I woke up, so. Workout is done. I did leg day. I was able to really pick up some stronger weights today. I was very excited for myself. Anyways, time to shower. When I get out of the shower, I'm gonna figure out what I wanna eat for a quick breakfast before I have to start getting ready and then go to my first appointment of the day. On mornings when I'm in a hurry but I still need to eat something for breakfast, I like to make these Jimmy Dean egg frittatas. They are so delicious. I'll see if I can put like the packaging and the nutrition on the screen for you. But basically they're like little egg muffins, but they're actually really good. They don't taste super eggy. You can just pop them in the microwave for like two minutes. And you would think putting these in the microwave would taste like super gross and like chewy and rubber but surprisingly, no, they're really good. I'm also gonna have some watermelon for breakfast. Every single summer, I remember that watermelon exists and then I become obsessed with it. I've been really into liquid and cream bronzers and things like that as of recently. So one of my favorite ones that I've been using that I discovered is this ColourPop Sticks. This is their no filter sticks. And technically I think it's a foundation stick. So you're gonna see it's not my color at all. And I have this shade medium dark 130C. It just makes for a nice little, nice little bronzy moment. Makeup is done, hair is still a little bit damp and drying, but thank God I have decent natural hair when it dries because by the time I get to the dentist, which is the first appointment of the day, it should be dry and we should be good. But I gotta go because I'm running a little late. But I really need an iced coffee, so we're gonna do that really, really quickly because I need a coffee so bad. Let's see how quickly I can make an iced coffee. Not too shabby, what was that, like less than a minute? Perfect. Does anyone else just love the dentist? I love my dentist so much. I've been going to the same place since I was like six years old. They know my job, they know my family. It's just, I love them so much. I feel like they actually are part of my family. My next appointment actually that's at two o'clock is for laser hair removal. I've been getting laser hair removal on my legs and my armpits for like the last like three or four years. If anybody is interested in it or you've been considering it or you've been thinking about it, do it absolutely do it it has been the best decision of my life when i was old enough to start shaving my legs i would either get a ton of razor burn i actually would always get razor burn like no matter what i did i never had like really smooth skin i personally hated dealing with it i do not like to have it on myself i know some women out there rock not shaving their armpits or their legs if that's what you like to do keep doing your thing do not let anyone tell you anything differently about Women have to shave their legs or women have to do. You do whatever you want. So this is not me telling you to get laser hair removal or to shave your self. Just do whatever, do whatever works for you. A couple questions I get asked pretty frequently. The biggest question is like, does it hurt? The answer is yes, it hurts. It's kind of uncomfortable. It kind of feels like someone is taking a really, really hot rubber band and just snapping it on your skin repeatedly. It's not pleasant, but it's not excruciating. I also pay a little bit extra for the numbing cream. I feel like that does help. I always get asked how many times you have to go or how many treatments you have to get. It's very person dependent. Some people can get like one laser treatment, never grows back ever again. They are hair free forever or they're good to go. Someone like me who's not like that. It's a little bit more stubborn, a little bit harder to fight. So I've had to get several treatments. It is an amazing thing. If you have the opportunity to get laser hair removal or you want to, or you've been considering it, this is your sign. Go do it. If you have any other specific questions though about laser hair removal or the process or anything, feel free to leave a comment down below. I'll try to get back with you. You can DM me on Instagram. I'm happy. I'm very passionate about it. So yeah, just let me know. 
Anyways, I am at Target now, so I think I'm just gonna kill a little bit of time. Okay, I like this, but I feel like this would make me look like a total gym bro, you know? This would like accentuate my already broad shoulders. Like, where are the sleeves on these? Honestly, this one just confuses me. Is it a fan? Is it a purse? Is it an accordion? I'll never know. Oh my gosh, is this a leather jacket on the sales rack? Oh my gosh, no way. Oh my god, it's only, wait, it's only $12? What? Their jacket's still cool. Asking for a friend. I'm all finished at Target. I think I killed enough time. I can give you a quick little Target haul and I spent $70. I don't know how that happens. What is in the air at Target that you walk in and you're just like, oh yes, I do need new pajama pants. Very random things. Got a new sticky bra. <laughs> I needed one of these for like tank tops, strapless shirts, things like that. I don't own one like this. We will see if I work into this and stay in place in this. It looks promising. I've used this brand before, so hopefully this is good. I got one of these little college plastic wear. Logan actually has one. Hers is pink, and she puts her soup in it, and I actually love that idea. I feel like this is like the perfect little soup chili bowl, so I had to get one. I think this was like $3. I like the gray. Got it. And then I got this Shea Moisture Daily Hydration Leave-In Treatment. I have been using this on my hair. Really help with the frizz, but also to help detangle my hair. At the end of my shower, I turn the water off, wring my hair out a little bit, spray this into my hair and then do like a leave-in treatment my hair has been so much softer recently I feel like it helps my curls and my waves kind of hold their shape better so I've been obsessed with this product I love it so much smells amazing doesn't make my hair greasy makes it feel light and clean love it then I got a new face wash this is the La Roche Posay hydrating gentle cleanser the reason I have to switch up my face washes is because I'm going to be starting Accutane basically long story short the medication I was taking just like wasn't working for my body anymore my acne was not getting any better when I did my follow-up appointment at my dermatologist she was like do you want to just try Accutane she's like I feel like you're a good candidate for it you've tried other things that don't work I have to have some kind of gentle hydrating cleanser for my skin and I can't use any face washes that have salicylic acid or benzoyl peroxide and the two that I have now one has salicylic acid and one has benzoyl peroxide so I have to switch just like a regular gentle cleanser that has no other chemicals in it so this is the one that I read a lot about read a lot of blogs watch a lot of videos of people that have been on Accutane dermatologist recommendation I got this one and lastly I just got some more pajama pants I am obsessed with these they are so silky soft they're so comfortable they're stretchy I love them it's the stars above brand like in the little pajama aisle um, I got a size large so they're a little extra cozy extra comfy they're only $18 they're the best I love them so much that is it for the Target haul time to go do a little drive-in and go pick up my lunch go pick up my salad so let's do that yum look at this salad I got this from Viva Chicken. This is the Andina power food salad. I don't even know what's in it to be totally honest It looks like I see some quinoa back there avocado. I added chicken. It came with a They gave me a lot of dressing, but it came with like a passion fruit Vinaigrette or something. I don't even know. This is just how it came on the menu, but they gave extra dressing So I'm gonna eat a little bit of this before I go get my legs lasered Does anybody else just enjoy a good car lunch or a car dinner when you're on the run somewhere? You don't have time to go home home necessarily but you're just going from point a to point b to point c but you got to get food in the middle so you just park it somewhere need a little lunch i feel like i do that a lot i think i'm always on the run doing something this salad is massive i have a feeling i can eat about half of it now and then i'll probably have the second half for dinner i didn't actually realize it was this big of a salad i honestly don't even know what all is in this salad but it's really good I 
just left my laser appointment feeling good. My legs are numb and tingly. It's so funny when the numbing cream starts to wear off, your legs just feel like they're in ice water, like they feel very cold, and then they're very numb to the touch still. I don't really have any other plans for the rest of the day. I am on the side of town where my parents live, so I am headed to their house right now. Gonna hang out for a couple hours. I think my mom is making something for dinner, although I have my salad, so I might just eat that for dinner um, because I don't want that to go to waste. So, well, if I didn't eat it tonight, I would definitely eat it for lunch tomorrow or something, but I think I'm just gonna eat it for dinner, to be honest. I love chill days. Like, I love days where I don't do anything, but I swear I am just, I don't know. I feel like I'm just built to endure long, productive days. I feel like those are the most fun days and the days where I just feel the best and the most accomplished and the most amount of energy when I'm just like, wake up early, go, 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 go all day long until the end of the day. And then I'm just like, I'm going to sleep so good tonight. This is the last little bit from my Versed cleansing balm. This is actually a super cute container. I might actually keep this. I feel like this would be a perfect travel container. Double cleansing is the way to go to really get the makeup off. Um, I could totally pass out right now and it's 8.47. Usually I go to bed around 10 p.m. on a work night. Um, but we'll see how long I last. Daphne's trying to steal the show. Don't show them your butthole. That's gross. Be a lady. I'm going to be on my phone for a little bit, but then I've been doing a lot of reading before bed the last 30 minutes to an hour before I go to sleep reading, and it's been a really good experience. I've been enjoying it. But right now I'm reading um, Get Out of Your Head. This is by Jenny Allen. It's like how to deal with like anxiety and changing your habits and your thought process. It's been a good book so far. I'm like, I'm like halfway. I kind of want to start incorporating some self-help books, but then also just like easy, like light reads, like fiction books or whatever. So I'm going to do some digging. Any book recommendations that you might have, leave them below. But that's all I have for today. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. Thanks for coming along on the vlog. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you being here. I'll see you in the next video.